Hey everyone, Owen Fox here, and a little video, a little fun, happy video to say the greatest intelligence is not being good in school or being academic, which a lot of people associate intelligence with. But I want to say the greatest intelligence is being able to question things and to think for yourself. Because if you can't question things and think for yourself, on this planet especially at this time, you're going to remain programmed, conditioned and brainwashed. You're going to be under the, con under the control and influence of your surroundings and the media, which is crazy and gives all negative, new negative news. Doesn't teach about like or organic, chemical free, living, farming, like personal care products or household products. Basically speaking, you're going to live a, tox a toxic life and a tox live, have emotional toxicity and unhealed. So by thinking for yourself and questioning things, you're able to break free of ancestral patterns and negative ancestral baggage and wounds and societal wounds. And you're going to live a very, 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 very limited life. Way less fun or happiness, way less connection, which is a huge word. People get depressed because they're disconnected from themselves, other people, the natural environment and planet around them, animals, nature, their body, all the sex shame and personal body like shame and all this like weird stuff, all this nonsense that's happening in the world. So you're never going to get anywhere in life if you can't think for yourself. So that's the greatest intelligence, being able to think for yourself and question things. This is like freedom, this brings freedom and freedom from bondage, from being chained up. So another, all the good things come from this. So by becoming free and seeing things clearly, by questioning things and thinking for yourself, then you're able to get emotional freedom and that's and you can get emotional intelligence, which for me I'd say the second best intelligence is to be able to think for, have emotional intelligence and that allows you to relate to and empathize and have heart and compassion and love and understanding and communication with other people. So that's where great fulfillment and joy and prosperity and happiness come in life, through being connected with other people, seeing them as your friend, family members, your co-inhabitants of the world, not just like your road, not just your estate, not just your your garden, not just your county, not just your your country, not just your continent, but all the earth, and not just the earth eventually, with the entire cosmos and universe and this galaxy, which is billions of galaxies, I think, or more, trillions probably. Yeah, there's trillions of galaxies. An unlimited amount. So you're getting out of a huge big disconnected isolated form of living where you think whatever you do doesn't affect anyone that's wrong what we do affects everybody we're energetically connected we send them electromagnetic heart frequencies every heartbeat which hits everyone within a second in the entire planet and when we smoke we dirty the air when we when we put on like chemicals on our body or wash chemicals with our for our clothes or um, our dishes, that goes into the earth, into the water again. That, that eventually runs off or evaporates or gets to connect, affects insects, animals, plants, the soil, um, other people. We, we share one biosphere. So getting to think for yourself allows you to kind of like see the truth. And my favorite quotation is, the truth will set you free. Um, in every single way. Most relationship problems, they say, are down to communication, and I'd agree and being disconnected to yourself and disconnected to everything like I'm talking about. The emotional like being frozen, like you're in a straight jacket emotionally and people are mentally messed up because they can't think for themselves. There's so much I could talk about for this subject but I'm just trying to make it under five minutes to be honest because I already made two of the videos a second ago. Both of them were like eight minutes 41 and eight minutes 40 seconds without even realizing it's such a funny little coincidence. I'm not even trying to do that. <laughs> just uh, telling about my personal life there. but. Uh, Think for yourself and question things that I want to say to you in this video. Like, I now am a relationship coach, a life coach, and a health coach, okay? A clarity coach. Basically, like, an active healer. We're all healers. We all have love and healing powers, all of us. And um, I'm kind of like a businessman, I suppose you could say, too. Like, I have, like, a herb shop also. Like, and I, and I sell or organic and wildcraft essential oils, um, superfoods, and enzymes. But what I'm trying to say is, I didn't. I learned this from thinking for myself. I became successful. In
in life by thinking for myself and um, questioning things. I didn't study like all the stuff in college. I, I went to college for a little bit of science for three, two months. I did fitness instructor and leisure management for two years, but that not all of them got me nothing. Most conventional institutes, I have to say, I do not resonate with most of the conventional stuff at all. Like school, I think is ridiculous. Like conventional school is a big no-no for me. Brainwashes you, emotional straitjacket. You don't want to empathise and love your fellow kids too much. It's highly competitive. You're treated like a prison member. You can't even go to the toilet when you want. You have to wear a strict code of uniform. What is this? This is unnatural. I love being naked. I was on the na this beach naked a while ago. You're probably not even maybe supposed to too much, to be honest. But I don't mind being honest with you. So I'm a little bit of a rebel in some ways. But I don't like to be disrespectful or, or, or mean or... I don't like to shove anything in anyone's face. So I just like quietly minding my own business, lying down, getting a bit of sun, to be honest. So I know this video is now over five minutes long, I bet you. But I'll just continue on for just a little bit more, okay? So you become successful in life but you know, being happy in life. Being successful by being happy and successful by being like prosperous and thriving and like having satisfaction and fulfillment by thinking for yourself. Because then you get out of the rat race. You can still work hard, but you're no longer in a highly strong, high stress mode of living where you're full of fear and you don't know what's going on. That's why I love to call myself a clarity coach because blockages, there's no clarity. So you unblock your mind. When the, when the mind is unblocked, when the mind is clear, the result is wisdom. When the heart is clear, the result is love. So it's all about unblocking the blockages and then once it's clear you automatically become wise, you automatically become um, loving. Love is us, but all the crazy programming on this planet at this time, because it's different on different planets at different times, or this planet at a different time is different, but right now at this planet at this time, 2016 and a long time before, we're living on a highly conditioned planet that are ran by a certain amount of families who aren't out for our well-being. They tell us lies, they control the media, some people call them, the, they used to be called Cabal, the Illuminati bankers or the old world order. They're going out of business, but um, bottom line is, don't be a puppet. Most people are just know nothing about anything. They don't want to even educate themselves, they don't want to listen to you if you try to tell them anything that's like about the truth. They're, they're closed and resistant to the truth. There's a lovely quotation saying, it's easier to f f fool people than to tell them that they have been fooled. <laughs> it's true, it's easier to fool people than to tell them that they've been fooled. So once you fool people, it's harder to then tell them that they've been fooled than to keep them fooled. So, have to um, think for ourselves, and that's the greatest intelligence. And then we become connected to us and everybody and other people and the environment. And then we can be happy and live a, a clear life and keep growing and learning and evolving as a spiritual person. So that's all I really wanted to say everybody. So I wish to say one love and lots of love to you and thanks for all of your love. <laughs> Thank you. And my intention for this video is to help you, your family, your loved ones and your friends and I thank you and I love it when you share and thanks for all your love support of me and my family, my friends and my loved ones and me by sharing and liking and commenting and supporting the video from buying from my herb shop, all that type of stuff and I'll see you again in another video and thanks again truly for all your loving comments I love them and I read them all and I try to get back to nearly every single one as well also so contact me privately if you need any help, coaching, help, health body, mind, spirit, and I'd love to help you in any way. So, see you again. Have a nice day. Bye, everybody.